What's up, y'all? Slime and Beast of the Building. Let me know if you guys like this backlight thing. I don't know if it's like just distracting to the overall video. I really have no idea. Um, this video is on distortion. So, distortion. And distortion, if you know what distortion is, it's just it, a lot. You hear it a lot with guitars, just like a shredded type of sound. Um, distortion is pretty pretty easy to do in FL Studio. Um, basically, and this is what I know. If you guys have any more distortion tools you want to talk about, let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll like do my research, you know, check it out, try to present it. Um, but like, I'm basically going to distort this sound. Actually, I don't even like this. Let's do this one. So the first thing you want to do is um, whatever pattern you have, I record this in like another video, but make sure it's in the mixer here. So I have it in mixer channel one. You see the one here. It's a channel rack. Okay. Um, let's go to the mixer. Let's close this. So this should be lit up here. Go look for a pre hit one of the slots. Look for a preset or a BST called fruity fast dist and uh you can see the dist here dist for distortion there you go now you have distortion and like this pretty distortion is pretty easy to use you just like pre amp post amp uh oh wow i didn't realize it was like 67 like that that's interesting uh threshold mix just mess with these, like, like, <laughs> just mess with these. You, you put on some good headphones and mess with these. That's the best way I could ever describe how to understand what these are. Cause I don't even want to be off on my explanation by even a, a fraction of a word. Like, I think the best way to learn that stuff is to just do it yourself. Like, like I don't like a lot of these knobs. I don't even really know the technical, like, super technical way to say it. I could just like describe it based on like the type of sound that I get from it. Like, it's good to know these, but, like, a lot of these are actually, like, really straightforward. A lot of these you'll find on, like, a lot of just amps in general. Like, mix, threshold, like, a lot of pre-post, like, a lot of the stuff is, like, on amps. And then you can switch between, like, basically the presets here and then there's presets up here. Now, let me see if there's any other distortions so I can, like... I, and I'm winging it at this point. Like, you know, I'm, I don't... This is the only distortion tool that I use. I, I usually don't even use distortion. That's why, like, I really don't know any others besides that. Um, let me see if they have, dang, okay, I sorted by categories, yeah, there's a lot here, okay, I've used Blood Overdrive, Soft Clipper, this is a distortion tool, oh, it is a distortion tool, yeah, because, wait a minute, is it, oh, wow, I didn't know Soft Clipper was a distortion tool, dang, yeah, so if you sort, if you sort by categories, I, I always do simple just because, it, I find it easier to find VSTs that I already know the name of if it's in alphabetical order. But, you know, if you search by categories, you can just go through these and these all distort in like one way, shape, or form. So, like, you really don't have to have that's a common misconception. I and mean, something I wish I, I had, I understood earlier in my beat making career is like, you don't have to have like any skill to just go into these VSTs and figure out what they do. Like, you could literally just off the make one melody and then go through each VST and just hit the presets and just do all that stuff in like 10 minutes and you'll get a pretty good idea of uh, what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like this. Like, I literally haven't ever used any of these. Well, for, except for the soft clip, right? I've used it. Uh, I've used Blood Overdrive too. But, um, let me see. You know what I'm saying? Like, See, that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, uh, fastest, we just did that, soft clipper. Soft clipper, I don't, I don't really know if that's a distortion tool, but I mean, that's, that's here. Like I said, I don't wanna get too, I don't wanna get too technical here. It's, uh, you can, you can uh, stack them too, you know, if that's something you wanna do. And uh, I always say, this is cool too. Um, Use this knob. This is like the mix level, so you can mess with the mix here. So watch, like, so I can kind of tone it down a little bit. You 
Like you can. Know, it kind of doesn't make sense with this. This, but it, it makes sense in a lot of situations. Uh, I, I actually use that a lot. Um, this one, fruity squeeze. Delicious. I wish this when this plugin opened it just said delicious like that. Be like crap. That sounds like I'm getting abducted by aliens. And maybe I am. Maybe I am. If aliens are real. Let me know if you guys believe in aliens, guys. Cause I I don't. I just don't think aliens are real. Like I just, I just don't think aliens are real, man. Like, there's just too many cameras, man. Like, we all watched Will Smith slap Chris Rock on a phone. Like, there's just, there's just too much like technology nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like, isn't that crazy that we watch a dude slap a dude, like, on a whole handheld screen, and you're telling me there's no freaking footage of a freaking alien in the entire world? Like, I just find that hard to believe. Now, if they exist and they just haven't been to Earth, that's more believable. Or if they came to Earth and then left, like, and never came back. Okay, I think I feel like that's, like, the premise of Ancient Aliens. George Sokolis is always like, it had to be aliens. Like, a rock will be, like, here instead of there. He'll be like, aliens did this. Like, like his coffee would be too hot. He'll be like, this can only be explained by extraterrestrials. Like... <laughs> I keep going. I can keep going. Like, like Slime Green Beast got like 15 subscribers in like an hour. He'll be like, "This is only possible through extraterrestrial life." I'll be like, "Hey man, we make good videos over here. What are you talking about? Like, like, like nobody buys the book for a week. Extraterrestrial. Like, I swear, dude, he converts like everything into extraterrestrial life. Like, it it never ceases to amaze me. I'm just like, this is the most unbelievably hilarious." show because he's so serious i'm like dude like you have to think that this isn't real like a part of you just like a fraction of you just has to think that like this like just because some dude drew something like two thousand years ago doesn't mean it's real like i can show you pictures of my son's freaking drawings bro none of that stuff is real none of it looks real none of it's real like it's it's, it's just like people freaking a thousand years ago we're just like straight up honest all the freaking time with freaking everything. They were just like, they were just like, no, that's not the size of an actual human. You must redraw it. Like, people just sketch stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that's just my take on ancient aliens. They need to bring me on the show. I would just be like, yo, dog. I don't know if those are aliens, bro. Like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. But to be honest, like I said. They, 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 no footage, dude. Anytime there's like no footage of something that's happening worldwide, I would say that that doesn't exist. You know, other than like invisible things like air, Bigfoot. I think Bigfoot's more real than freaking aliens, to be honest. Because, hey, at least I've seen some questionable footage of Bigfoot. <laughs> the other one where he's like this, and he like turds. I actually did a project on Bigfoot in in uh, college for my f like final year in college, and that basically explains how I was in a, as a student in a nutshell, right? Like everyone had like the most serious topics. I just came up, and I mine was on Bigfoot, right? And like I remember, I practiced. I, I was like really ready for the speech, right? But like okay, I go up in front of people, and I'm already kind of like a little jittery in front of like a bunch of people, but like. Um, like, I'm like, hey, I'm kind of already, you know. But then I, I look at the back. <laughs> My roommate's watching. And he's just cracking up the whole time. Like, he is, he does not stop laughing, right? And it was just making me laugh. Like, the whole time I was presenting, I was just like, I couldn't stop laughing during the presentation. Because I was like, I was trying to be serious. But then I'd be like, the existence can be explained here or something. And then I would, like, play some Bigfoot footage. It was, like, it was so funny. But, like, I got, like, a C on the report. Um, it was well put together. I really should have got an A, but my presentation was just, it was trashed. I was just laughing at it, hysterically at it. It was, like, really freaking funny. So, but, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.